Coach Tim Groves, your team beat the University of Minnesota Morris 68 to 39. While it was also the UMAC tournament championship, you got yourself into the fifth straight uh, NCAA tournament tournament appearance. But it was also your 16th consecutive victory, which sets a program record. Congratulations. Thanks, Greg. Great how, feeling. How did the flow of the game go? I mean, pretty lopsided score, but as we were talking off camera beforehand, you know, for you, defense was almost bigger than offense. Yeah, you know, it feels great to win, first of all. A um, ton of respect for Morris and their program and, and Coach Grove. Um, we really talked before the game, you know, we really wanted to rebound the ball well defend well, and then take care of the basketball. And I thought we were just outstanding in all three of those areas tonight. I think uh, uh, Morris had uh, just four offensive rebounds for the game. Uh, we only committed four turnovers for the game. And I thought we really defended with a lot of intensity and a lot of togetherness. So really proud of uh, not only winning, but how we won and uh, the guys you know, following kind of the game plan that way. You, you actually all rebounded them, rebounded them 43 to 27. They had two offensive uh, rebounds. But how much, I have to ask, how much does this owe us call to David Saniger from St. Scholastica after Wednesday when you win in overtime and say, hey, thanks for getting us off our butts in a way? Well, yeah, I mean, and just talking with somebody after the game, I mean, it's basketball is a, a crazy game, a tough game. The UMAC's a very good conference. Um, yeah, we were very uh, fortunate. Uh, to win on Wednesday and even get to this game on Saturday. So, um, you know, going back to that St. Scholastic game, they, they played well. Uh, their kids played really hard, and uh, we were fortunate to, to advance and then obviously get to play in the championship game today. What do you tell your guys? I mean, this is the fifth time you've done this now. What do you tell your guys going into the game, um, you know, that propels them to, to win by this, not only this margin, but just the kind of passion we saw out there tonight. You know, I'll tell you what we started and ended with. The first thing I put on the, the whiteboard before the game was just to enjoy it, just to really enjoy this moment, um, this opportunity to compete for a conference tournament championship, a chance to get to an NCAA Division III tournament, because there's a lot of players and coaches that never get this opportunity. And, and for us to go to our fifth straight, um, you know, it's just a really neat accomplishment for our program, happy for our kids. So I started with that and then I ended with um, uh, the words gratitude and grit. And again, just that thankfulness, um, being where we're at, um, you know, a school like Northwestern, um, you know, to have that opportunity, healthy bodies that the Lord's blessed us with, uh, to play basketball, and just the grit then, just the, the toughness, the grit, physically, mentally, emotionally, just to really enjoy it. So I think the guys took that to heart and I think they just were having fun out there, you know, and obviously the score was going our way. Uh, but we just said, even if it's not going our way, just be thankful and, and just, you know, have a lot of grit out there. Obviously, Michael Carney can score points, but what's there to say about Caleb Jansen, a guy that scores a double-double on Wednesday and then has 13 points, six boards tonight, wins tournament MVP honors? So happy for Caleb. Um, again, just embodies our program as far as his work ethic, his unselfish attitude, uh, his care for his teammates. Um, really happy for him. A phenomenal defender, phenomenal rebounder. Uh, but Caleb definitely this year is, is, is scoring more too. You know, uh, he's he's making jump shots. He could always drive it to the rim, but uh, he's making jump shots for us now too. So fantastic tournament for him. You're the one uh, UMAC team that is still going. So do you go into this weekend able to relax or <laughs> more anxious uh, for what's to come next week? Well, uh, definitely going to enjoy it tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll be at the uh, MIC championship game tomorrow because that could be a potential first-round opponent. So we'll start our scouting right away there. And then we'll find out on Monday at 11.30, you know, who we're playing, where we're going. So um, it's going to be a busy week, um, a lot of uh, scouting, a lot of film work, um, a lot of preparation. So, But uh, it's a great time to be playing basketball. Uh, not many teams get to play in March, and we're one of those. Excellent. Well, congratulations. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks.